Hello, everybody, and welcome to a rather... I can't even describe the episode we're about to watch. I mean, this is an example of what happens when I play TF2 with, like, the most casual attitude on Earth after not playing for about three or four weeks. Uh, I'm just kidding. I played a lot more rounds the other night, and this is just, you know, I thought this is a really awkward match. I mean, it's not good, but it's it's kind of entertaining. Well, as you can obviously tell, we're still using my new favorite loadout. Not really my favorite, but, you know, the new Strange Launcher, the gunboats, and, of course, the Frying Pan O Justice, because you can't get enough of that bad boy, and, of course, he makes his mark in this video quite a few times across the sides of people's heads. Now, like I was saying, this is not a great video. It's fun, and it's funny, but I thought I wanted to include it, because... I don't normally play TF2 like this, and as you can see, just going in there and smacking Demo Man out of the health saying, no, get your own goddamn health. That's what I'm doing, because, yeah, we got the frying pan of justice. That's what we do. And, I don't know, I haven't made a rather humorous commentary in quite some time, I feel like, and I needed to include some fun and just a nice cock lock on that sniper there. He is just going down, but unfortunately, he doesn't want to go down without a fight, and of course... I get killed so many times, <laughs> I cut a lot of deaths out, and I don't even know how, I, gee, I mean, I wonder how I didn't top score this match. I mean, playing nonchalantly and, uh, talking in chat a couple times and, uh, you know, just doing all the things you're probably not supposed to do. And trying to get that frying pan of justice but being killed by everything but the frying pan of justice. There's even a justice fight in this round in a few minutes, but it's rather humorous to think I counted about how many times I frag killed myself with my launcher. I'm gonna say a good 10, 12 times. Some of them I cut out, but I even left a little montage in the end of how many times I got killed by it. <laughs> and it just makes me say, hmm, maybe I shouldn't aim for the feet anymore because it's not working, obviously. And just, I don't know. I, like I said a long time ago, I feel like using the direct hit has made me a little bit more accurate. And I, I mean, a little bit, I mean a lot. Strangely, I didn't kill that soldier right there. I really don't know how I did, and I actually thought that was going to get him. But I, I guess he's just too super MLG Call of Duty Sniper Pro XX Headshot 420 for life bong hit weed sex 69 3 everything. And right there, I'm surprised, is a good example of how I didn't kill myself. I just, there were so many instances in this round where it was just like, I even went as like a battle medic as a joke, and that was how not really caring I was playing this round, but... It's strange to think that I did actually kind of good in it, and I just left in the good. Like, right here, I really, I actually had a pretty good time doing this, and it was pretty fun. And I think that's the fun thing about TF2, is it's one of those games, because there was a lot of people in this chat that were going, Oh my god, no one's, it's a Valve server, no one should take it seriously. And I'm like, who the hell takes this game seriously? It's a freaking game, it's just something I play if I'm in a bad mood, which I kind of was. But going into it, this made me even more hilarious. And right about here, frying pan of justice, preventing the cap and getting cock blocked by the shotgun. Of course, that's that's how life works for you. Life gives you lemons, you get shot in the face by a shotgun and crash into the ground and die. Because, eh, that's what happened to everybody. And right here, we got the nice frying pan of justice fight. And guess who wins victoriously? Of course it's me. Why weren't you thinking I wouldn't win? I wanted to pick up that flare gun and say, yeah. What do? How do you do? What are you thinking? I don't think you can think because you're kind of inanimate, but Jesus Christ. Almost four heavies in this room, and it scared me. It's, I'm surprised that we wouldn't have captured that because that's quite a, that's a chunk of man right there. You can't compare how much man was in that room right there. And just, oh my gosh. I can't explain to you. Oh, but here we are in the next round, and I did cut a whole round out because it was just awkward. And you know, it, it bedazzles my mind. Yes, you put a bedazzler up my nostril socket. And oh man, frying pan of justice just makes his mark right here. Oh, getting some on that heavy. I don't know what he was doing, but just mmm in that body shot. Can't, I can't even handle it. But anyways, you know, I don't even remember what I was talking about. But it probably didn't matter because it wasn't very important. But winning in this game to me is not really important. I think it's more importantly if you have fun in a video game. And fun factor to me, TF2... I can play this game in a terrible mood, I can play this game in a good mood, and it always manages to make me walk away smiling with my virtual e-penis very, very happy. And of course, turning people into dead with the frying pan of justice, and of course, to get cock-blocked by the mini-century. I actually love that term, by the way. Cock-block is one of my favorite terms to use. It's very underrated. I don't know why people don't use it enough. It's one of those words that just... It's like 
it's like you can't just say it. It's like one of those words you've got to be like in the right situation to using it. And I'm pretty sure that was a good example. And of course, I missed the crit. Of course, of course, I can't do anything right. And I get just blasted like Kurt Cobain. That's a terrible joke. I hope you guys realize that Nirvana is actually one of my favorite bands. And uh, just thought I'd say that to avoid some hatred right there. You gotta take a joke, everybody. You gotta take some jokes and play some Team Fortress 2 nonchalantly. And I love saying that word because it's, uh, I don't know, it's fun to use that word. It's one of those words in my vocabulary I just need to use more. Just like gyrate. That's a word everybody needs to use in their average day conversations. Oh man, I was walking down the street and this one girl, she made me have some weird gyrations. If I heard someone say that, they'd be my hero. And if you guys can count how many times I actually frag kill myself in this whole video, you get a gold star. Because, you know, gold stars, I think, are very important to have. Gold stars equal killing spies and getting shot by heavies. And I killed myself right there. And of course, being the MLG sniper I am, and of course, the MLG spy that I am, I got that amazing frying pan to the back of that sniper. At least I think that was a sniper. I can't tell at this point in time. My brain is working at a million miles per hour trying to make this video and sending that, that soldier to the moon. And where have we seen getting killed by that heavy before? I don't care if that transition was off. It does not matter to me. This video is just nonchalant me having a little bit of fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. And I am very glad to say that we are almost in the 20,000 views. I really am thankful for that, you guys. It's pretty awesome to think I've got 20,000 views. It's pretty neat. And of course, the frying pan of justice, he thanks you all. Because he who holds the frying pan holds the everything. And of course, I wanted him to have that sniper, but uh, he didn't. Little Mr. Rocket Pants here got a little bit too excited and he uh, got him before the frying pan of justice could get a hold of him. Yeah. You know, this is what happens when I make a video, and I don't really care. <laughs> but, you know, it was a rather fun match, and just, you can't be me. You can't be me. You, you just can't be me. You know, I just, I enjoy TF2, and I know I make a lot of videos where I just have some good montages, and just, I just want to say right there, why would you build a century? This is Harvest. The only centuries that exist are many centuries, and even then, no one cares about that. You're not going to protect anything. There's nothing to protect. Except me, of course. It's prevention for me. Because, uh, I don't know. No one likes it when soldiers go into your spawn. So I understand when people do stuff like that. But still, I don't know. I don't even know what the heck I was thinking being up here to start with. But the frying pan didn't help. And I'm really surprised I win this fight right here. Because this was actually pretty close. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty sure if he didn't switch to his half Satoichi, I would have been screwed. I would have been screwed! And of course, to screw in snipers and spies out of their day, because I feel like that's the only thing I ever kill on Harvest, is snipers, spies, and occasionally a soldier, because that's generally the composition of Harvest, I feel like. It's every now and then there's a pyro. I'm surprised we even had a medic. This was like one of the most train wreck areas in the game, one of the most train wreck matches I've played in forever. But it was very fun, and uh, it's just nice to actually be making a video again, because I forgot how much fun it is to watch me play this game. It, it, it actually makes me smile to play this game and watch it, because it's something I just... Yeah, they say you learn from your mistakes from watching your videos, but uh, I've mistaken everything in this game, and I just... I'm terrible at life. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's just... If you're playing Team Fortress 2 right now, and you're playing Man vs. Machine, just go on and have fun. Seriously, if you're not playing TF2 for fun, I don't know what to tell you. When a game stops having a fun factor, it's not fun anymore. That's pretty much the gist of it. Actually, it's pronounced gist, and it's spelled like J-I-S-T, I think. Get out of here, Pyro. You don't need to correct my grammar if I'm spelling it wrong. I don't want to hear it. I thought that, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but definitely this is one of my favorite matches I've recorded in a while. Just, it's pretty fun to make some nice stuff, you guys, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new stuff I'm making. Hope you guys are actually enjoying the Doom 3 walkthrough. That's actually pretty fun to make. I'm not gonna lie, it's it doesn't scare me, but that one part, oh my god. There's a part in there, you guys, it's not up yet, but I think you'll all appreciate. Just smacking snipers in the back of the head and Pyro's ruining our day, but this is about the time. We're about done here. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, comment, doodle, doodle things, and doodly do i don't know what you want to do and i really don't like those random lag splurges they make me kind of scared as you can tell i'm just beating the air like it owes me money and it really frightened me pretty pretty bad i might admit i must admit pretty bad and yeah actually pv hud is working 
I still haven't fixed the scoreboard thing for some strange reason. I just, I'm too lazy to fix it. But anyways, um, I still, I, I can't believe we run, what? We run, we won this train wreck of a match, but it was really entertaining to me. So I hope it was entertaining to you guys. Last clip coming up here in a few seconds. And uh, by the way, before I forget, I am actually going to be doing something a little bit different here soon, hopefully, for a video. And I don't want to ruin the surprise as to what it's going to be, but it's going to be good. I just, I'm just saying, I know it's going to be good, and uh, I can't, I can't give away any secrets what it is because uh, I can't do that. It's highly classified information. Okay, it's not really classified at all, and it's not really highly anything, but it's special, and it'll be cool, and I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it. As much as you enjoy this video if you did, but... Of course, this is the end of the video. Didn't top score, and that didn't surprise me, but I had fun doing it anyways, and uh... Don't do drugs, but it's okay to smoke weed every day.